Are you new to using Edge or you've been using it for a while and basically you just want top five tips of things that you probably didn't know existed in Edge? Um, well, watch this video. And by the way, I've kind of started moving over to Edge from Chrome and Firefox, which is what I used to use all the time. And I have to say, I think Edge is pretty nice. Anyway, watch these tips. Um, my favorite tips in the top five is uh, number four and five, obviously, because I want you to watch the video to the end. Uh, so please do so. Anyway, on with the tips. So, Microsoft Edge. The first feature that I'm going to tell you about is something called Collections. Uh, let me show you. Okay, this button up here. So you see this button up here called Collections. You click on that. Currently, I have no collections. What, what collections allow you to do? It essentially allows you to drag any uh, any web pages you've got and make a collection for them. So if you're going to be organising a holiday or buying a new computer, this is what I'll do here. I'll buy a new computer. So this is a collection. So this is a collection for computers. Now I've got this page open here, this uh, John Lewis page for computer. So I'm looking to buy a new computer. Got the page open and what I need to do, hover over this and click, click the plus icon that says add current page. Click on that. We've really got one item in there. Let's go to another page. It's Lenovo page here. Go into there, click the plus icon. There we go, I've got two items. If I click on that and I go into it, you can now see I've got two different items in there. If I had another one, let's go to um, PC World, for instance. Um, what do I want? Laptop, there we go. All right, I found, found the perfect laptop. Let's, let's click on one of these ones. There you go. Click on that. So I want to add this to this collection. The way to do it, I'm on the page. Click on plus add current page. There we go, got three items in there. Now the advantage of all of this is that with this collection, which I'll just close down there, now you're using the internet as per normal, click on the collections, go to this computer one, and straight away I've got the pages I wanted. So it's kind of an easier and a more visual way than creating bookmarks. And I'll be honest with you, I quite like it. The next top tip I'm going to show you for Edge is the web browser task manager. So you're probably aware of task manager. It's that thing that IT support would tell you to open up and um, see what's running in the background of your computer. Well, your web browser, so Edge in this case, also has a task manager associated with it. The way to do it, click on the three dots, go down to more tools, and go to browser task manager. Click on that, and you can see what is open in there. So currently we've got this tab there, that's my Create Action Homepage tab. We've got all of these extra little bits open as well. So if you had something that's really pulling on the CPU or the memory, then you might want to delete it. Okay, so you can end the process. So if something's not working properly, you could end that process. Okay, so if I open up a new tab, I'll just show you. Let's go to, um, there you go, Odeon Cinema, for instance. And I'll open that once again. So more tools, browse task manager. You can see we've got this open as well, using this on the CPU. So yeah, like I say, if Edge is underperforming, maybe you've got something open, or maybe it's one of these elements that you need to be uh, you know, clicking on and ending the process for. The third one I'm going to show you is the web capture tool. So web capture allows you to take a part of the page of the whole web page. Way to do it, click on the three dots and go to web capture. So you can capture the entire web page if you wanted to do so. There you go, I've got the whole page there. And what I can do with that, I can then save that or I can copy it. You can also annotate it as well. So click on the draw. There you go, some amazing drawing. Alternatively, again, if I go to web capture, I can capture an area of it. So I wanted to uh, you know, show you that part there. Once again, I can mark up so I can draw over it or I can go to copy and it's then been copied. And if I was just to bring in a, uh, a Word document here, I'm gonna paste it, so Control and V. There you go, you can see it's been pasted perfectly. So it's a very easy way of copying and pasting from a web page. This is particularly useful if you're having problems with a particular website or you work in IT and just trying to demonstrate something that's not working properly. And whilst I've got your attention, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. On my channel, you can expect to find tech reviews, IT top tips, 
and randomness captured by my uh, my Google Nest, such as a deer going into my back garden. Anyway, make sure you subscribe, like the videos. Thank you very much. Now back to the video. Next one I'm going to show you is number four, which is vertical tabs. So currently we've got tabs along the top here, but actually you might want tabs along the side. And the way to do it, top left, you've got this button here. Click on that. You've then got turn on vertical tabs. And there we are. We've got the tabs on the left hand side here. You might want this because it's going to free up a bit of space along the top or just because you prefer it this way. Um, I'll be honest with you, I do like this. I do think it looks, looks better, especially you've got lots of tabs open. They can very quickly fill up your screen along the top, especially if you're on a laptop. So on the left hand side can be really useful if you've got lots of tabs open. To change it back to the uh, previous view, just click on that again and go to turn off vertical tabs. Number five is pin tabs. So you might want to pin a tab along the top here. You know what, let me just show you. I really like this feature and I do use it. So right click on the tab that you want and go to pin tab. You can now see it's just been pinned there. So if I go on another page, so I'm just on, you know, I'll go on BBC. There we go. You can see the YouTube one is still pinned at the top of there. So it's really nice. Also, if I close this down, I'm just going to open up Edge again. You can see that the YouTube one that I pinned earlier is already pinned at the top of there. So that's number five, which is pin tabs. My favorites are number four and number five, which are the vertical tabs and the pin tabs. Tell me in the comments down below what your favorites are. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like the video. Thank you very much. And happy learning new things about Edge.